Okay, here we are in part two of our BTEC 150 IF absolutes and PMTs. So we were on the IF worksheet here, and now I switched to sheet one. I'm just going to double click, and for now I'm just going to name this absolutes. You're going to rename it something else later, but for now I want to call it absolutes. So this, um, you can tell this worksheet, it's about someone financing their school uh, expenses. So there's the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year, and then they'll total it up. And so here is how much it's going to cost for the freshman year for these things. And the sophomore year, and each year, the annual rate of increase is 8.25%. Uh, so this number, 13585 is actually 8.25% more than 12500 So I left the formula in here as you would see it in a textbook. And I think this is how math people would make this formula. It's not how I would make it, but we'll talk about that in a second. So what it is, is it's B3, which is the freshman year, times uh, 1 plus um, the 8.25, the annual increase is B23. And you'll see that B23 is absolute. What happens is when we click and drag this over, we don't want this B23 to become B24 and B25 and B26. There's nothing in there. You can't multiply or add something to nothing. Or you don't get the right answer. You can, but then you don't get the right answer. So we want it to always look, no matter what, all of these assumptions we're going to make absolute in our formulas like this. And remember, we just did that by hitting the F4 key. And when I put my cursor anywhere inside that, sorry, let me do that again, I can hit F4 and it starts toggling between this mixed reference, this mixed reference, relative, and absolute. So there we go, I'll leave it as the absolute. So let me do this one, how I might, uh, the junior year, how I might make this junior year um, formula instead of doing this 1 plus B23. So what I would do, or what makes more sense to my brain, is I want this number, I know that the sophomore year is going to increase by this 8.25%. So I need to multiply this number times 8.25%. And that isn't going to give me what the amount is. Let me just hit the Enter key here and see. So what this is, is it's saying 13,000 times 8.2% higher is an extra $1,120. So what I want to do is I want this number, uh, and I have to make this absolute, so I'm going to click here and make it absolute. I want that 1,120 or whatever that number was, I want it added to this number. Now, I don't necessarily need parentheses in here because it's obviously there's only two things to do math-wise and it will multiply before it will add. Remember PEMDAS, um, parentheses, exponentiation, multiplication, division, then addition, subtraction. So it will automatically multiply and then add in. So 13,585 plus that 1,120 is 14,000. So this is the formula I would make and not this one, but I wanted you to see both of them. So then once I have the formula I like, I can just click and drag over. So we started out at 12,000 and now it's going to be a 15,000. Now, um, because I made B23 absolute, I can use all of these and drag down. <coughs> because what it's taking is, in this case, it's B3, and in this case, it's B4, and B5, and B6, and with the B23 increase. And it's the same here. It's the formula I made, so it's okay that it uses both formulas are right. It's taking C4 
and C5 and C6. The one thing it did kind of mess up is now my border is gone here, but remember I can just format paint that. So I'm going to grab, uh, select the cell B7 and hit my paintbrush and then paint over. And then I want my answers to show up here, so I'm going to um, select them all and just use my auto sum key here. There we go. So my total is $145,819.16 for this person to get their bachelor's degree. Okay. So how are they going to pay for that every year? This $32,000, how is that going to come out freshman year? Well, he has some figures down here. He says that savings is going to be 10%, is, will pay 10% of this, and the parents will pay 12% of this number and the job will pay 11% of this number. So if I look in the savings, I want to use this number over and over again, and I want to use these numbers over and over again. But I can only make these numbers absolute, because I, what I want to do is when I get the formula in there, I want to be able to click and drag over. So as soon as I get all of these numbers, I want to click and drag them over. So to do that, I have to leave B8, uh, I have to leave this one relative because I want it to roll over to C8 and D8 and E8. So I have to write the f each one of these formulas. So I know the formula here, <coughs> I'm sorry, here is this times that percent. And so 10% of 32,241 is 32,024, right? We just bring it over a couple of decimals. 30, so this one will be equal this times 12%. And the 12% is absolute. All of these numbers are gonna, we're going to make absolute. Okay? Enter. And this is equal to total freshman expenses times the job. 11% is going to be paid by the job. And this is equal to the loan is going to pay 35% of this number. Enter. And the scholarship will pay 32%. So again, equal this multiplied by 32% F4. And enter or hit your little checkbox up there or something. All right. So this should equal the same amount because each one, all of this equals 100% of this 32,000. So enter enough, it does. The sum of all these equals 32,241, and that's what this is 32,241. So I'm going to highlight them, and I'm going to click and drag over. I'm only going to senior year. I'm not going to total. Total is something different. Total is adding all of these things up. Okay. So I'm going to hit this, and let's just make sure. The sum of B15 through E15, that's fine. Or I could do it this way. I could say the sum of and make it look up. And it should be the same amount, either way whether it adds all those up or adds all those up, that all equals this is how much it's going to cost to go to school. All right? So this is using the absolute value. Absolutely always look at this number no matter which direction I drag down or up or over or left or right. Um, always look at this number in B20. That's what absolute means. I'm going to stop it here and make another video about the PMTs. So there's more information on this bottom of this sheet. Once you finish doing this, you can create those things. You can finish doing those things there. Okay? And remember, watch the video over and over again. Think about um, absolute and make sure you're understanding this concept. Have fun.